the most important thing is come before your spouse and talk to each other communicate mm-hmm. i'm sorry i said mm-hmm. something to you which is not right i'm sorry please forgive me by winning an argument you don't bring peace mm-hmm. both of you in agreement even if one comes up with the past you can always say okay let's forget it yes. do it in love don't just you bring it up the past all the time your your business always bring up the past you don't do anything good you always remember the past the blame game is not the game that we always win it's a defeat once again we have decided to work on marriage talk on marriage and this subject is very important to those who are married and those who are about to get married <clears throat> because we need to discuss something very practical through the scriptures find solutions and answers and uh, last week we discussed on how we need to understand one another how we could live together dwell together mm-hmm. or live in the same home with agreement and also we discussed on um, uh prayer of agreement and where an agreement is where two come together and say yes we believe in this the as the scriptures tell us if two of you shall agree in anything yes. it shall be done of the father so there should be harmony and in the family yes. for us to see something good happening in families mm-hmm. and how to honor your spouse as important mm-hmm. and how precious is your spouse and considering her as a weaker vessel mm-hmm. and uh, understanding that we are heirs together mm-hmm. we are heirs together the grace of life amen and today we'll discuss something else and uh, also continue with on on the same lines of family mm-hmm. it's important families united they walk mm-hmm. together and see how they could mm-hmm. sort matters in life and overcome situations mm-hmm. in life not giving in to the circumstances mm-hmm. but overcoming the circumstances mm-hmm. so let's go into the few questions that we have prepared Yeah one of the things is uh, how do we walk in unity and harmony in the family as a yeah. family mm, that's a very practical question mm. how do we walk in unity and harmony mm. now we may be two of us with two different thoughts and two different ideas yes two different mm. settings that we come with mm. and god is interested in in bringing us together mm. walking in unity how can two walk together if there be no agreement as the scriptures say in the book of amos chapter 3 it mm-hmm. says how can we walk together if there is no agreement mm-hmm. it's important i believe one important factor is god didn't just put two two personalities together and say okay mm-hmm. let's see how it works that's not that's not it mm-hmm. god knows mm-hmm. that there is an answer yes. god understands marriage there may be there may be disharmonies there may be situations that can rise up uh but ultimately we're going to see unity in the family and unity only comes when we get into the scriptures yes. base our faith in what the word says Amen. going back into the word of god these are foundational teachings concerning marriage mm. running to the word god i need help he's our heavenly father and we could go to him and say lord i need to walk in unity yes. and harmony i need to i need to get this thing together i i cannot i cannot go on with life and one of the strongest uh, uh impressions that i have right now is prayer when you come in prayer agreement you will see that there's going to be unity in the family one can pray for something else in the family and the other can pray for something else but still if you reach out to the same source both are going to receive the same answer yes and i may pray for something and she may pray for something else but if you're going to the source he's going to he's going to minister to us yes as we minister unto him he ministers back to us amen rely on him trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him One of the ways we acknowledge him is declaring the promises of God. Mm-hmm. God, I thank you for my blessed wife. Lord, I thank you for my blessed husband. And and uh, walking in harmony and unity that causes you to to uh, to see others also enjoy your company. Yes. 
your presence ought to be gracious towards others as you meet with people as you talk with people you don't want to be quarreling and striving you cannot afford to strive yes Too it's dangerous. too luxurious yeah too dangerous it's too dangerous to walk in strife and division let me show you where division comes from let's go to the book of uh, uh james chapter 3 and james chapter 3 talks about wisdom yes right mm-hmm. wisdom and verse number 15 says let's see what what verse mm-hmm. 15 says this wisdom okay before that we'll read 14 But if you have bitter in me and strife in your hearts glory not and lie not against the truth yes this wisdom descendeth not from above but is earthly sensual devilish okay we see there are three sources which we find three kinds uh three from three sources you find this wisdom coming into you if there is if there is bitter envying right if there is bitter envying and strife in your hearts see if you're always bitter towards your spouse and you you just can't agree with her you just cannot live under one roof find it difficult and and this is not this is lying against the truth we are supposed to be children of god and we are supposed to be the children of the light mm-hmm. and we are supposed to be walking in the truth of god's word mm-hmm. right if there is bitter envy between the two of you this is the wisdom that descended not from above This wisdom is earthly. Yes. It's natural, it's sensual, and it's devilish. So, wherever we find things that are things that are not running in harmony, there's no unity. That is not the wisdom of God. Yes. Well, I have my way, she has her ways. And what is going to be the ultimate? Strife. Disaster. Yeah, strife. strife and disaster mm-hmm. eventually. and we would wonder oh god why why aren't you answering my prayer because god what can answer our prayers if you're walking in disharmony so this wisdom is not from above where envying strife and confusion is there is every evil work yes that's where the devil enjoys to see the two of you walking in disharmony there is no unity in the family Yeah. These, are, these are things that we have been discussing but we continue to keep discussing because mm-hmm. we don't want a family broken we don't want a family to be walking in in disharmony yes it doesn't help nobody yes it helps nobody so unity comes from the wisdom of god right the question is how do we walk in unity unity is always by the wisdom of god mm-hmm. let me tell you let's read verse 17 in james chapter 3 and verse 17 But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. It's first pure. Mm. Right? Then, Understanding that mm. it's very pure. It's clean. Okay. Then peaceable, gentle and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Without hypocrisy. No partiality, uh with no hypocrisy, full of good fruits. What are the good fruits that we can have? Love, joy, peace, harmony. Yes, patience. Faith, patience. Long suffering. Long suffering. Those are good fruits mm. which are from above. So live according to the wisdom of God. Yeah. That brings harmony mm. and uh, harmony into the family. Live in uh, living in harmony is or living in in unity is only by the wisdom of God. Yeah. and if there is any disagreement i think we should pray about it mm. instead of striving and arguing and talking back to each other i think we should sit and discuss that's very important communication is communication. important that's one of the most important things so usually we say okay i don't want to discuss anything about this yes that's not it let's put everything on the table and discuss and let yes. god help us through yes he's our source of knowledge he's everything to us he'll help us through to overcome the situation so i believe god's wisdom is important yes. in bringing unity and harmony we don't want the devil's wisdom we don't want the earthly wisdom we don't want the sensual the sensual wisdom is well i i feel good about it at times but there are times that i don't feel good so you don't walk by feeling you walk by faith another best good way is that we can pray yes. for each other when we don't agree yes. it's good to just you know separate yourself and just pray 
Lord, there's something like this, Lord. We can't come in agreement, Lord. We just bring this before you and I think we can pray and so that you know, God can give us the wisdom how to exactly. act. And how do we pray prayers? Authoritative prayers. Yes. If that is devilish, then there is a spirit behind yes. it. We take authority with that spirit and yes. say, in the name of Jesus Christ, we command you, Satan, yes. take your hands off my, off my spouse or my children. Yes. And I command that spirit to go yeah, and right. speak it. And I believe mm. that there is unity in the yes. family. And continue to keep speaking the promises of God. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not believing what I hear and yes. see. I believe that there is true unity in yes. this family. Yeah, the enemy can put, you know, evil thoughts into yeah. each other. Yeah. You know, thoughts so that it can bring division. That's and, right. You know, it's a, it's a evil force that can That's speak right. to you. See, when we speak to each other, we are mm. sowing seeds yes. into our own vineyard, mm. into our family vineyard. And when we start sowing, eventually we reap the harvest, whether yes. it's good or bad. Yes. So if we, if you speak good, mm. we're going to reap the good. I have a good spouse, I have a peaceful husband, I have somebody who is very nice to me, and, and you speak differently. Yes. You pull out the thorns mm -hmm. and the thistles out and start planting good seeds, yes. speaking words over each other. Yeah. And we yes. have plenty of words, right mm -hmm. from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelations, mm -hmm. there is plenty of life-filled words. Yes. Let your tongue turn out to be the tree of life yes as the bible says in proverbs 15 and verse 4 your tongue is a tree of life yes. so s speak lifeful words mm. don't speak what you see in the natural don't speak mm. what you what you that's what you sense in the in, in the natural mm. but speak lifeful words that will cause harmony mm. that will cause uh, 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 unity in the family yes that's let's important. go to the next question yeah. How do we maintain peace? How do we maintain family? peace? That's important. As much as we don't strive, we don't, uh, uh, we, we, don't want to, we, don't, we don't want any bitter envying and strife amongst mm -hmm. us because of the bad influence of the world, which is earthly, sensual and devilish. Mm -hmm. And for us to maintain peace, for us to maintain peace, how important is that? Isaiah chapter 26 and verse number 3, it says, Isaiah chapter 26 and verse number 3. How important is that scripture for families? And uh, it put things in place in our lives. When we see these scriptures and apply the scriptures into our lives, it's, it's one thing to hear the word of God. Oh, that was a nice word. I believe if I, if I can get this across to my husband, oh, sh oh, if I can get this across to my wife, you start. Mm. When one of you starts, you are one flesh. Once you come into a, when you come into the holy matrimony, you become one flesh. Yeah. And if you start, you begin to see it's going to catch up. That's it's right. going to catch up. Mm. Okay, we'll, we'll read uh, Isaiah 26 and verse number 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in thee. Yeah. God says, I will keep you in perfect peace. Or in other words, I'm going to keep you in peace, peace, peace. Yeah. Perfect peace. If your mind, this is where, where we have, where we, we, we find it difficult to maintain peace. Mm -hmm. If your mind. It's like a battlefield. That's your battlefield. Mm -hmm. Your mind is your battlefield. Thoughts that are running in your mind. Contrary thoughts that are running in your mind. Mm -hmm. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through pulling down strongholds, arguments Casting in our minds, imagination. imaginations and, and, and thoughts that the enemy has put and mm. brick upon brick, thoughts mm. come into our mind and strongholds are built. Mm. And that's where we need to attend to and say, no, I refuse to let that happen mm. in my life. Mm. So I want to maintain peace in my home. Important. I want to maintain peace in my home because if there is no peace in the house, if there is no peace among the husband and wife, then there is quarrels. There is this is going to this is going to catch up with the children. The children are going to take sides. Well, I think my father is wrong, my mother is right, or my mother is wrong and my father is right, and 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 they are confused. Mm. When there is no peace, there is confusion. Yes. Right. But God is not the author of confusion. Yes. The scriptures tell us in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse number 33, God is not the author of confusion. Yes. 
but he he is the god of peace he is the god of peace and that's a very strong force in our life peace let the peace of god pass uh, which passes all your understanding and come to god we regard that peace yes. in our hearts maintain maintain it maintain it so keep your mind focused on the lord if thou will keep him god will keep us in perfect peace whose minds are stayed on the lord right family you're supposed to be one unit not to not divided thoughts not divided you may have divided thought but bring it before the lord and the lord is going to heal the areas that needs healing the, the lord would bring, bring wisdom into your life where you need to put right yes. things some of the thoughts are not right mm. some of the things that we think is right is not right but the lord will deliver us and 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 the most important thing is come before your spouse and talk to each other communicate mm. i'm sorry I said something to you which is not right. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Yeah, that's very important. The children asking, see them. Ask him forgiveness yeah. from each other. Yeah. Just like we ask forgiveness from God, yeah. I think it's good to ask forgiveness from one another. Yeah. It's important. We we make mistakes yes. in words and deeds. But come before each come before each other and say I'm sorry. I mean I mean I'm honest to you. I really thought that you thought that I was this that and the other. But I know that you don't think bad about me. I'm so sorry about it. Maybe mm-hmm. we need to put things in order. As it says in Philippians chapter 4, yeah. be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God which passes all understanding. There may be misunderstanding mm-hmm. but then God says let the peace of God and when you uh stop worrying you know mm-hmm. how to correct each other god is there with us and god will just give us a wisdom how yeah. to solve it yeah and we try to correct each other yes. to next in i want to bring her into my mold and shape her contour the way that i want her to be mm. and then she wants to bring me into her mold mm. we are two different personalities yes we are both strong when we use our personalities to the to the fullest capacity right there is strength in unity there are strength in unity mm-hmm. and god will correct us yes let him do the correcting part mm-hmm. right let him do the correcting part in our lives and this verse it says keep your hearts and minds through christ jesus yeah yeah maintain uh, our thought life is important yeah guarding our thought life that's how we maintain peace mm-hmm. in the home mm-hmm. amongst each other And verse 9 it says those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen me that's talking mm. about Paul mm. do and the god of peace shall be yeah. with you yeah be followers of somebody yes. there are people who are living in peace don't ever put every family into into mm. into a box that you are in yes oh everybody going through the same thing i mean this is common this is common in the lives of mm. all the people no it couldn't be common mm. because if god is in their life god can bring peace into their home mm. the son of god the peace of god which passes all understanding shall put you in a position where you will be able to guard yourself protect yourself mm. so to maintain peace you got to find scriptures concerning peace and say lord i'm going to believe in these scriptures see it, we 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 try to lean onto our own understanding and we just want to win an argument mm. we think we by winning an argument You don't bring peace. No. By being an argument, by going into the word of God and speaking the word into the family, mm. will bring peace and unity yeah. and harmony in the family. Yeah, that's what it says. God of peace shall be with you. The God, God of, peace? of peace shall be with you. <clears throat> shall be with you. If the God of peace is with you, you're surely going to have peace. Mm. And we have to whatever we learn, we have to put it to practice. Yeah. That's important. That's we important. doers of the word, not mm. just hearers. and we have to just maintain peace exactly here is only deceiving you. themselves amen yeah. amen here is only deceive themselves mm. i don't want to be deceived just by hearing oh that was a good message yeah it's a good mm. thought but so when you add something to the word of god mm. you're adding a curse into your life mm. In the book of revelation it says mm. it says anyone who adds into this word or any anyone who subtracts from this word mm. is going to add a curse mm. into their life yeah. the word of god is pure it is tried mm. there is no way that we can judge the word of god and say oh yeah if god would have said something different in the bible i would have mm-hmm. no what he, his laws are perfect yes you cannot change his laws he has ordained everything rightly and god is always right yes and i could be the person who is wrong mm-hmm. right 
we could be wrong but god can never go wrong mm. he he's he's always good what he said he would accomplish amen his word is true and pure and mm. it's a shield of protection unto us mm. the word is pure and it's clean it's a shield of protection unto our lives yes okay let's go to the third and the final question for this week how do we walk in love how do we walk in love how do we walk in love number 1 in the book of 1 john chapter 4 and verse 8 it says god is love yes amen god is love mm-hmm. if i'm in if i'm if i'm in the lord that is through jesus christ by believing jesus christ mm-hmm. i i get into the pool of love i'm so full of love mm-hmm. there's love oozing out of me there's no hate oozing out of me there's love so i'm if i'm if if i'm walking in love it's it's always possible for me to always achieve things in life right so love does not cover up things love will always speak the truth mm-hmm. and get things right in order in in the book of ephesians in the book of ephesians chapter number 4 in chapter number 5 and verse number 1 and 2 okay we'll we'll read from chapter number 4 and verse 32 and then we come to 5 1 and 2 and be a kind one to another tender hearted forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake hath forgiven you yes you want to walk in love how do we walk in love for christ's sake forgive each other yes for christ's sake forgive each other be kind one to another tender hearted forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake jesus the mediator of all good things he died for us and he rose again on the third day if you have never tasted the goodness of god the first thing that you're going to taste is the love of god yes the love of god god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life amen receive when you receive jesus you receive the love of god into your life yes because jesus is love yeah romans 5:5 says that's right. the love of god is shed abroad in our hearts yes by the holy ghost that's right so when you receive jesus you receive the spirit mm. and the, and he is the same spirit and when you receive the spirit of god into your life you receive the love of god mm-hmm. and you're going to ooze out in love and you don't know why you want to love people you don't know why you want to forgive people because of the love of god And even right. as Christ has forgiven us I think we should forgive each yeah. other and maintain that peace and love. Yeah. If God found it justified, if God found it just to forgive us. Yes. Who have been sinners, who have been unworthy, who are who are of no good, if God chose in all his wisdom, he found it he found it just to forgive us. Mm. Why do we harbor bitterness against each other? Why can't we forgive each other? Yeah, why we were yet in sin, mother says God loves us. God we loved us while we were sinners. We were sinners. Why we were sinners, why we were committing sin, God still loved us. That's the difference in That's God's love. So God. forgive one another even as God for Christ's sake. For Christ's sake God forgave. Why wouldn't for Christ's sake you forgive your spouse? I think once we get into the word we will know the scripture so that we can understand how to walk in love. Without I think the word we cannot it's yeah. impossible. Unity and walking in the peace of God and the foundation for it is forgiving one another. Forgiving one another as Christ has forgiven us or God for Christ's sake has forgiven. Mm-hmm. If God can forgive us for all the mistakes that we have done because of Jesus Christ mm-hmm. and the shed blood has cleansed us sanctified us made us pure and clean and holy why are we harboring bitterness against each other we need to forgive each other so the foundation for love is to forgive yes. chapter 5 and verse 1 be therefore followers of god as dear children be followers of god just do like what god did for christ's sake he forgave us for christ's sake let's forgive our spouses for christ's sake let's forgive one another for the mistakes he or she has done i want to forgive her i want to because because we want to be followers of god he's our best example he's our best example so forgive your wife and i think one of the things once we forgive and uh, we should forget yeah 
not bringing up the past not bringing yeah. up things you know this is what you did yesterday this is what you did last week and i think uh, forgiveness means forgetting yeah put those things but there can be thoughts there can be a residue of some of the things that are there but still for all mm. both of you in agreement even if one comes up with the past you know let's say okay let's forget it yes do it in love don't just you bring up the past all the time your your business is always bringing up the past you don't do anything good you always remember the past no that's not me okay okay let's forget it come let's do something else mm. we need to there is going to be a residue of something some of the things that have happened but then walk in harmony if you really love each other yeah, i think we should quick be quick be to quick. forgive yeah don't other. don't be done judgmental mm. being judgmental if god was and he is a perfect judge if he really want to judge us he would have judged us mm. and mm. sent us all to hell yeah. but for christ sake he forgave us be ye followers of god as dear children of god as dear children we are his we are his beloved children so we follow god god for christ sake forgive man man we are following god and for christ sake we forgive each other even your children you forgive them for the mistakes they made okay they made a mistake so what god even as you forgive me i forgive them do it in kindness do it in love do it in do it in harmony do it uh, rightly well we 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 need to uh, we need to to bring it out put it right and say okay this is a mistake we all make we, we have made this mistake let's put it right and then it says verse number 2 says let's read verse number 2 and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and yes. hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to god for a sweet smelling savor yeah walk that's the only way you walk in love that's the only way you walk in love so walk in love as christ had loved us and had given himself as an offering there can be a time that you might have to really give yourself to your wife right she has made a blunder but still I'm willing to offer myself and say okay we made the mistake mm. when Jesus died for us the example is I died for your sin mm. I take that blame it is an exchange yes. as an exchange let's both both of us okay we ma- you made a mistake but we together we made this mistake mm. if it is something to do with somebody else okay we are sorry we made the mistake No it's not you I mean you're okay it's, it's your husband that made the mistake no we made the mistake yeah, we are one fish. we are one we're not going to take sides mm-hmm. this is the time that you got to stand and say yes just as the offering of god uh, of offering of christ was offering himself for us mm-hmm. we take the blame mm-hmm. it makes e- it, it 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 makes things easy mm-hmm. and your spouse is 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 not uh, uh, she's not going to fall into c- condemnation mm. oh, it was, it was me her. standing with her mm. even yeah. in her fault you say okay that's not taking sides but we that's in, in the sense where you, you you know it's wrong and you're taking your wife's side no i'm not taking my wife's side it's simply because we want to walk in love okay you made the mistake we together go forward and say okay we made the mistake forgive us we'll put this thing right mm. right So you're standing with your spouse. You're standing with your husband. You say, "Okay, I'm not going to say you did it. If not of you, this would not happen." Once again, you're calling strife. Yeah, it's blaming each other again. Blaming. The blame game is not the game that we always win. It's a main, it's a defeat. We know it from the book of Adam itself, from the book of Genesis, we know. Mm. The blame game. Adam blamed his wife yeah. and uh, the uh, Eve blamed the serpent and the serpent had nowhere to turn to. The blame game never the curse was still a curse. Mm-hmm. but if you say yes we made it mm-hmm. and put things in order so walk in love as christ also has loved us and uh, has given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice, and a sacrifice to god. god right as a sweet smelling savor amen. it becomes a sweet smelling savor mm-hmm. and there is harmony amen you can say yes we accept there is no condemnation there is no find, fault finding here so unity peace and love in the home mm. unity peace and love in the home 
you cannot afford to strive you cannot to live afford to live in confusion you cannot live you cannot afford to live in hatred and bitterness towards one another god will help you you have another scripture to read no it okay. says that christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that you being rooted and grounded in love yeah. in ephesians chapter 3 verse 17 yeah these are powerful scriptures rooted you... and grounded in love, in love. that the lo- roots be love rooted and grounded in love we want to pray for you yes. unity peace and love, love in your home among with among each other heavenly father we come to you let these words flow through into the families yes. of those who are going through disharmony those who are going through strife in their yes. lives those who are finding it difficult to get along well those who are finding it so difficult to forgive each other those who are finding it difficult to communicate to one another yes i pray lord in jesus name these foundational teachings the wisdom of god which is not earthly it is not devilish it's going to cause life to flow into their being every bondage be broken right now by the power of the holy spirit in the families and right now maybe the husbands and the wives together they are watching and i pray lord in jesus name as the anointing flows through it destroys every yoke of bondage those yokes be destroyed in the name of jesus even as jesus said take my yoke upon you so once we take the yoke of jesus we are walking in peace and harmony yes but we destroy the yoke of bondage of the world and sin and the devil himself and father i pray for peace yes i pray for uh, uh confusion to be removed yes i pray lord in jesus name unity and harmony in the families yes. i pray hatred be removed yes let there be an openness between the husband and the wife yes lord. amongst the children let that yes, peace yes. let the peace of god flood their hearts right now yes lord thank you father thank you. for the love of god that is shed abroad in their hearts yes. and there'll be love oozing out of them division is destroyed yes. strife is destroyed certain you're bound and you're cast yes. out of the homes in the name of jesus yes. christ we pray peace let there be healing that will come forth lord yes. if somebody is going through an ailment in their body because of division or unforgiveness let there be healing in the name of jesus christ let healing proceed forth Amen. into their lives Amen. let there be agreement that there be that there be peace in the home yes, let them dwell together yes. understanding that they are joined heirs together yes, to the grace of life that their prayers be not hindered yes, thank you lord for touching their lives and healing their bodies right now they're going through some difficult times probably finding difficult even to pay up their bills financial difficulties because of the strife and division at home and right now we break the chains of the spirit of poverty over their lives the spirit of poverty that has been able and uh, an open door has been uh, um, a, 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 the enemy has found an open door a window to even to get into the family and cause poverty to come into this family because of strife and division yes lord we destroy the power of the poverty and we cast it out and we release the anointing that there be prosperity and peace in the house peace and harmony yes, be upon the house in jesus name i pray amen amen amen, amen.